Hi guys and welcome to all about the Philippines. Now we're looking here at taxi scams in the Philippines on YouTube and we see that there's many many taxi scams still going on. Uh, there's pages and pages of this on if we do if we do a simple search on taxi scams Philippines we'll see many many pages of taxi scams that have been spoken about. So this is, this is not a new scam, it's been going on for a long time, but there is a way to actually deal with taxi scams or taxi drivers who are committing these scams in the Philippines. So anything from poor driving all the way through to rigged meters or overcharging. So I'm going to show you how we can go about reporting a taxi driver in the Philippines who may be scamming you. As we say here, we can look right back to uh, where Haley Dasovich 12 months ago was talking about being scammed. He, there's many videos on scams by taxi drivers going all the way through. Um, another taxi meter scam, beware. There's one by my friend at Philippines Oz, fun with JLB, talking about Philippines taxi scams to be aware, aware of. So the awareness has been out there for some time. But uh, it seems that people are still getting scammed out there. Um, I even did one here, taxi scams in the Philippines. That was my view on Haley Dasovich's video, you know, going back 11 months ago. Um, so there's plenty, plenty out there on scams. So, but the question is, what do we do about it? If uh, we allow, if, if the taxi drivers continue to do this and no one's actually complaining about it, well. They're going to keep doing it, of, of course. So there is a way you can actually put a complaint in against the taxi drivers. Now, will this actually resolve the issue of that taxi driver being uh, reprimanded, taken off the road, whatever? Will it stop him from scamming? Who knows? But there is a way to go about it. So if we go here to the, the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board then they've launched a new application or a new hotline number. Now this is back in 2015, so it was new back in 2015. It's been around for three or four years. But what you what you do is you can ring this number here, the 1342 number, and you can put a complaint in there. Now, that's that's one way to do it, by, by uh, ringing that number. The other way is um, <clears throat> You can send pictures and videos for evidence. So if you're a YouTuber or just a tourist and you've got your camera going and you've got video there or pictures of what you're talking about, if he's ripping you off, he refuses to turn the meter on, he charges you 3,000 pesos for a 400 peso taxi fare, then you can get video evidence or picture evidence of that. Um, you can send the photos or videos to this number here which is 0917550 1342 I'll put these numbers in the description below as well or you can text and talk Sun subscribers will send their photos and or videos to 0998 550 so there is a place you can send those to now I'm not sure how easy it is to deal with them if you ring them up <coughs> um, so that could always be an issue, especially for foreigners trying to communicate, you know, exactly what's happened and, and follow their processes in the Philippines, which sometimes can be a little confusing, to say the least. You can also go to a Facebook page of theirs, which is the Land Transportation Office Public Assistance and Complaint Desk, where you can lodge complaints through there as well. So whichever way you do it, whether you do it through... Um, whether you do it through here on Facebook or you do it through the 1342 phone number or send the videos through to the 0917550 number etc. What will happen next once you've made that complaint through any of those channels they will send you an email stating thank you for raising your concern and they will actually say to please inform us if you're willing to attend a hearing or not in regard to your complaint. So if you want to really take this taxi driver to task, if it means that much to you, then you're going to have to make time to actually go to a hearing to put your side of the story forward. Now, 
most of us we really don't have that amount of time to do that you know when we're, we're there on, if you're there on vacation then you know you've got better things to be doing with your time than waiting around for, for hearings so if you say no you don't want to attend the hearing then what they will do from that point is then they will issue a reprimand letter I'll just zoom in on that a bit more see if you can see that they will issue they will issue they'll issue a reprimand letter of your concern to the operator so basically he's not going to get into a lot of trouble from one complaint but if a lot of people are complaining then maybe things will change and maybe he will start to think he needs to change the way he does things from that time they have 15 to 20 working days to process the receipt of your complaint so that's the options guys you've got if, if you're getting ripped off by a taxi driver in the philippines then there is a process you can go through not a lot of us have got time there to go to a hearing so maybe just a simple complaint send you even if you send your, your video or your pictures of what you're talking about say to them no you're not going to attend a hearing and the letter of reprimand may be enough to make a change in the philippines if enough people do it so i just thought i'd share that with everybody i don't know that everyone's aware of the processes so there we go so next time you get scammed by a taxi driver there is a process to, that you can follow if, if you if you wish i'll leave all the links in the description below thanks for watching guys don't forget to share the video around give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell to get more videos thanks guys take care and bye for now